Plans are in the works for a beluga sanctuary off Nova Scotia's coast by 2020. It would be home to belugas who'd been held in captivity, either performing in shows or living in aquariums, giving them a place to live out their lives in a more natural environment. Neuroscientist Lori Marino is president of the Whale Sanctuary Project. She joins us now in studio. So why Nova Scotia? What do you think Nova Scotia has to offer that would make it a good place for a beluga sanctuary? Well, Nova Scotia has just the right environment, especially along the Atlantic coast. It has the right temperature range, the right salinity, and there are over 8,000 kilometers of coast. We're just looking for a little under a half a kilometer. So we think that you know somewhere in that vast coast, there's probably a half a kilometer that would work for us, a cove or a bay of some kind. Now, I understand you've narrowed down the list of places you want to examine. So where are they and uh, what do you hope to, the well, communities we will right. buy into it? We don't actually have any sites in mind. We are looking to communities up and down the eastern okay. shore and the southern shore to tell us. We're going to have a series of information meetings the next 10 days where we'll meet with different communities, tell them what we want to do, and see if there's a community out there that thinks this is as cool as we do and wants to work with us to make this happen. Now, are you looking for government to pay for this? Is, is that one of the asks? No, there are no asks. There are no asks. So any community that would be interested in working with us, we are not asking them for money. In fact, we are going to be bringing a lot of economic benefits to the community through, uh, you know, just uh, local jobs, staff, uh, education, as well as the fact that we will need to buy a lot of fish <laughs> for these <laughs> whales. Is it, so why do they need to be moved into a sanctuary? What kind of conditions are, are you trying to move them from? Oh, the beluga whales that live in concrete tanks and marine parks, like Marineland, for instance, in Niagara Falls, um, are living under conditions that they just are not adapted to. They cannot thrive in these shallow, barren tanks where they're crowded. Uh, these are really intelligent, highly social, uh, very complex self-awareness. Uh, they just, they would no more do well in a concrete tank than you or I would in in solitary confinement or in a jail cell or anything like that. And so they become emotionally disturbed, their immune system goes down, they die of infections, and they lead very short lives. They suffer a great deal. I I'm wondering, are you expecting any pushback from, say, the fishing community who may not want uh, this kind of sanctuary inshore in, the, in that area? Well, we're really hoping to talk with uh, representatives of the fishermen, fishing community all the way up and down the coast. We want to hear from them. Um, if there is a way that they think they would want to work with us, we want to sit down at the table and say, okay, let's see what we can come up with. You know, it may be that we can't figure out a way, but if we can, then we want to hear from them. We don't want to do anything that's going to be a detriment to their livelihood. We respect their livelihood. And so um, if they come to us and say, well, you know, this, this sounds like a good idea, but I'm afraid that, you know, my, my ability to fish in that area might be affected, well, let's sit down and figure out if we can make this a win-win situation. Now, this sounds like an expensive project. How much do you think it would cost to uh, bring it in all together? Well, the capital cost would be between 10 and 15 million, uh, and that would be to build the facility, get everything ready, and have the first residence. Um, and then, of course, we would need a sustainable uh, amount of money. Where are you going to get that money? That will be through donations and phil philanthropic donations. Um, and we will not uh, put a shovel in the ground, as it were, until we know that we have all the money we need to care for these animals over their lifetime. So. Would, would people in the community be able to see them at all? Or would yeah. they stay, how would they do that? Well, we're hoping to create some nice nature trails around the, the sanctuary 
you know, they won't be able to get up close and touch them because those are the kinds of things that the whales don't do well with. But they'll be able to overlook, see them. They will have an interpretive center. Um, they will have video. And, you know, I think of the kids, the kids who can say, you know what that whale sanctuary, that's, that's in my town. And, right. and so we're really looking forward to that. Well, it should be interesting to watch. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much.